Hi guys, it's a, a deer construction company. Today I want to show you one day of uh, breakwater construction, one usual day. This breakwater is being constructed on the coast as part of Haifa Terminal Port Project. It's designed to protect the harbor from 12 meter height waves that may appear once in 50 years. A breakwater structure is designed to absorb the energy of the waves that hit it, either by using mass caisson structure or by using a revetment slope. This breakwater has a revetment rubble mount slopes with different types of rock and concrete armor units. Rubble mount breakwaters use structural voids to dissipate the wave energy. Big rocks and concrete armor units on the outside of the structure absorb most of the energy while smaller rocks prevent the wave energy from continuing through the breakwater core. The slopes of the revetment are typical with ratio of 1 to 2. As waves height get larger, rubble mount breakwaters require larger armor units to resist the wave forces. These armor units can be formed of concrete or natural rock. The largest grading that is used here for rock armor units is 3 to 6 tons. As for the concrete armor units, we use antifurs that weighed 30 tons. The general rules for antifur placing is that the units should be placed according to the predefined grid. Vertical grooves should be perpendicular to slope or berm surface. The units shall be placed in semi-random orientation and should be sitting on a stable surface with at least three corners in contact with adjacent antifur cubes. The units shall be also checked as a group and appear to be rough on the surface. The contractor is trying to keep a surface rough enough, which will provide satisfying wave energy absorption. As you can see, construction now is in the last phase. The bigger part of the breakwater has already been built. The part that you don't see is 17 meters below the water. What is left? is to build the upper structure according to the designed height to install a new light tower and to wait for the big storm.